Now we get to let our inner Bob Ross come out as we're painting this. I like to start with lighter colors and blend out to darker colors. So I'm starting with the Kova color turquoise. And I'm just gonna lightly paint on the turquoise. I'm putting it on the interior corners. And I'm gonna blend this out to darker colors. I really want to show an ombre effect on this. So that's why I'm starting with the lightest color. I'm going to go to a mid color and then I'll end in a deep purple. We've got the Kova color royal blue, royale blue. I'm doing this fairly quickly um, as the paint's wet and it kind of just blends on its own. We're going to put an antique over the top of this as well and that will also help blend the colors a bit. Now we've got our Kova color purple. I really like these Kova colors because they stretch. Um, this is gonna be a bouquet wrap, so obviously it's gonna be a cylinder and it's going to be stretched out. And this Kova color really stretches and moves with the leather. It really minimizes the cracking that you're gonna get in other paints. And that's why you don't wanna use normal acrylic paint. You can, um, but you will have some cracking and some stretching that you're not gonna get with Kova Color. I'm gonna go back in with the turquoise and just lightly blend all of this up. And you can see the basic gist of how I'm creating this ombre effect. I'm gonna go on and paint the rest of this. Well, this is something else that takes it from, oh, I've painted leather to, oh, I'm painting. And it's, that's what I want people to understand, that this isn't hard. Like, just because people act like, oh, I'm, I'm this elite tooler, I'm this elite artist. You don't have to be, it's not an elitist thing. Literally anyone can do this. Now, if you wanna be good, if you wanna be one of those leather people, yeah, you have to have some natural talent, but you just have to practice. You know, you just have to watch people and learn and just trial and error. Like that's how you get good at anything. That's why I was so good at doing hair, because I wasn't scared to mess up. I wasn't scared to try new things. I finished painting here. I used the same technique throughout the whole piece. I started from light and graduated to dark, and then I took the lightest color and lightly blended it in, and I took the darkest color and lightly blended it in to create that nice ombre effect. I've let the paint dry completely, and I've also added a coat of Super Sheen and let that dry for a few hours. Now it's time to antique. 
We're using the Briar Brown Gel Antique. So I'm gonna shake it up. The reason that we're using an antique is so that this really gets into all the decorative cuts and stamps that we did. Um, you'll really be able to see it once it's antiqued. I'm applying this liberally. There's really no right or wrong way, you just want to get it on there. Because we used Super Sheen as a resist, it's really just gonna get into the cut marks and the tooling, beveling and all that. It's gonna give it a really nice, clean look. It's also gonna pick up all those details. The cool thing about antique as well is if it doesn't get quite as dark as you want it to or it doesn't get into all your cuts and strike marks, you can always do another coat of it. Now I'm taking paper towels and just wiping it off. After I have all the product wiped off, I'm gonna get one of these paper towels, just a little damp, and do a light buff. This really gets all the excess antique off and brightens up your project. This will also lighten up a little bit as it dries. Um, once this is fully dry, we'll either add another coat of Super Sheen or whatever top coat you prefer. This is going to be a bouquet wrap, so it needs to be a cylinder. In order to get these two pieces together, we are going to lace this. I'm choosing to do a simple cross whip stitch. This is where you can get creative. You can do an advanced lacing technique or you can do something simple. I'm using this four prong lacing chisel because when I lace it, it's gonna look like it's coming from the leather. Whereas if I did holes, you could see the hole. When I start to punch the holes for the lace, I'm gonna leave this first prong out and butt it up right to the edge of that leather. This is a two pound maul. I'm putting this first prong into the last hole. And I'll do that all the way down on both sides. To do the cross whip stitch, we're gonna need six times the amount of lace so we're just gonna measure this out. And I like to use these permalock lacing needles. This little one is tapered at the end and it makes it really easy to lace. And all you do is take a knife or a pair of scissors, cut this at an angle,
Stick that in the bottom of this needle and just twist. When you use this straight chisel, you probably are gonna have to widen your holes just a little bit. This is a great tool to use because it doesn't stab the leather or poke through it. It just stretches it out slightly. So for this stitch, we're gonna start in one hole and skip every other hole and then we'll come back up. I'm starting from the underneath side and then I'm going over the top. I push the needle through, but I'm actually pulling on the lace and this just helps prevent it from breaking. We're using a deerskin lace, which is pretty stretchy, but the results are gorgeous. I'm gonna go this direction all the way down, and then I'll come back up the opposite direction to give it an X'd look. Every time I'm skipping one hole. There's a lot of different ways to do this lacing. This is just a simple way that I found, and it comes out with a pretty good result. If you don't have tiny hobbit hands like me, it might be easier for you to do an X, do another X, do another X, instead of going all the way down and coming back up. I finished up the lacing. To finish it off, I stuck the needle back down through the X's on the inside and cut off the extra. So there it is a unique leather bouquet wrap that any bride will just go crazy over. This pattern is available on our Facebook page in the free pattern album. And while you're there, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to all of our channels. If you have any ideas for videos or anything that you'd like to see, be sure to let us know. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, y'all have a great day.